Hello, everyone. This is Lisa from a Knit Sheet. How's it going? Now, if you look on the participants, actually, no. Yeah, I think on the participants tab, you might be seeing something that says yes, no, go slower, go faster. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You can use those to communicate with me. Or if you have questions about anything, just put it in the chat and I'll address the question. Okay? Yeah, you know what? I'll take it back. Okay. Thanks. Well, as everybody knows, we're doing World Walk a little bit different this year, but I think we're still going to have a lot of fun. I am going to get the show started now. I actually spun that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's start with the one that you got. And then, so you know, let's get some housekeeping then. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys some kits we've got going together today. And you can order them right on our website. Our website is www.anitsheep.com. And you can use your coupon code right there on the website and shipping is free. So our coupon code is NJWW20 and it's gonna give you 20% off all the items I've shown in the store plus other yarn that's on the website. So let me just repeat that, it's NJWW20. Okay, let's jump into it. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is the Kalima hat and mitten set. I like a pattern that's kind of sneaky. This looks like you've done, you know, all sorts of fancy color work, but you're really only working with two yarns. And that's kind of the fun in it for me. The kid's gonna give you a hank of Pixel and two balls of Ultra Wool DK. Pixel is 100% Merino Wool Superwash. And Ultra Wool DK is also a 100% Wool Superwash. And what Pixel is like is that it gives you all sorts of color changes happening within one yarn and then you do it on the background of ultra wool. So you have your solid color and your patterning yarn that you're also doing color work in. You work this kit on size US six four millimeter needles. And I've got, I think three colorways already planned out for you. So you see how Pixel self-stripes? That's gonna run through the color work. This is the next one. And I thought this colorway especially would be for the people that really love the neutral. So you're still getting a little bit of color, but it's gonna read as a neutral. And green is a big trend this year, so I had to include a green for you. So we're going from, you know, gentle, we're going to ease our way into color. We're from gentle color to pizzazz. This is a sunshine poncho. It is worked in earth yarns. Unique fingering. And it is just spectacular. Now, this one is, is an interesting construction. It's actually worked in two steps. So you're gonna make that wide zigzag panel first and then pick up stitches along the top edge to create the part that goes around your neck.
get another view of it. Now this can be as dramatic or as laid back as you like, depending on the, the colors you put together. So I put together several kits for this. So what you'll get is three colors of Earth Yarn for me. I said unique fingering before, but it's actually Earth Yarn's Harvest. It's 100% Superwash Merino. This is kit number one. Now, this one kind of screams autumn to me. It's cinnamon, mint, black, and black grape. This is another high drama situation in rubia, pomegranate, and fig. Now this one, I'm getting more and more into the orange and pink and purple combinations. It's just kind of potent for me. And here's another way to do it. It's still dramatic, but it's not as colorful in pomegranate and fig. Now, this sweater is called Perga. This has also worked in Barocco Pixel and Barocco Ultra Wool DK. Now, this is the same idea as the hat and midden sweat, the hat and midden kit, but the colors are reversed. So, in this one, Pixel forms the background color. And the um, Barocco Ultra Wool is the color work. And I thought it just gave a really unusual look to the color work to have the color work be solid and the body of the sweater be in that soft striping pixel. We have the kit broken up into three sizes and they range from $119 to $150 depending on size. And this sweater is shown in a 39 inch size with ease of between two and four inches. I would I would guess it's about, it's somewhere in the four inch range for the ease on this. <laughs> We're going to get a look at the back and then a close up of that. So you still have the impression that there's all kinds of color work happening because the striping yarn is peeking through the openings in the solid, but you're really only ever working with two yarns. So all that color you're seeing, that's the yarn really doing the work for you. So, we can put together some color combinations. Sadly, they did not give evocative names <laughs> to these color notes, these colorways, so I'm just gonna go with the color number. On the left-hand side, we have Pixel, which is a soft, self-striping merino, and on on the right hand side, we have the local ultra, which is a lovely, lovely super wash wool. So it's Pixel 2203 and Ultra Wool DK and 83113. I can really see this one, this color combination too. I really like the blues. So, what would happen is the solid blue would form the color work in the yoke, and these soft stripes would just peek through 
And because we have that solid blue kind of overlaying it, you get this beautiful color work effect. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. I got a little bit lost because I can't see my chat window. Ah, I wanted to make sure I can see if you guys have any, have any questions. Are there any questions about anything I've shown thus far? Or should I just go on to the pretty, pretty yarn? Okay, I'm going to go on to the pretty, pretty yarn. And like I said, I really love the, the overlay effect that it gives. It's almost like wearing a lace mask. That's kind of the impression that Perga gave me. So this is my, yeah, that last pink one, right? I'm not sure if it's pink or really like salmon, but yeah, it's a fun combo. Just a reminder, the coupon code is NJWW20, and that's going to give you 20% off all the kits I'm showing in the show, plus other ones, because I, I literally couldn't take you through everything. <laughs> but do check out the website. It's www.initsheet.com, and you will click the shop tab. Okay, so this is the fade scarf in kid hills and kid silk. Hills. Now, I thought this is kind of right where we're at, we're at right now. It gives you a lot of impact, but it's not a big to do. It's not a big to do to um actually do the knitting. So it's done in kid silk haze. It's 70% super kid mohair and 30% silk. And it's done on a US 6. So although it's a lace weight yarn, you're not working it on teeny weeny needles. You're working it on a US 6, four millimeter. So it's gonna be, it's gonna create a fabric that almost floats on air, just very light and lofty. So let's look at the color combinations. Oh, and it's priced at 99, but like I said, with 20%. Hello. 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 I just wanted to give you guys a close up look at it because I just love how the colors are flowing through this thing. So the first combination is called Petal. And you can see why. It is just beautiful, delicate shades going from a kind of snowy white all the way down to something I would think of as maybe sand, but with a mauvey hue to it. And then we have Smoky. It's a little bit more dramatic, but you still have those pauses of neutral color in among the pops, and you'll decide where you want your color pops to be. And then Ocean. I love those subtle blues and greens, so you're gonna be going back and forth. And then Regal for the purple lovers that, that live inside us all. Now, I know exactly one person who has made the butterfly shawl. And it was a challenge, but what I thought would be fun was to try the butterfly shawl technique on a much smaller project because the shawl itself is, is ginormous. So, I'm offering the, a kit for the butterfly cowl. It's going to run at $55.
it is done in one skein of unique fingering and one skein of harvest fingering, also from Unique Yarns. They're both 100% extra fine merino. They both run 435 yards to a skein. And the are machine washable, so that's really neat. But all of this action going on here, that's done by creating short rows. It's a very interesting piece. And if you want to learn to work with short rows, but you don't want to do it on a ginormous piece, this might be a great place to start. And it's a nice versatile item. So there's a little bit pulled back picture of it so you can see how it sits. Just giving you a splash of color at the neck. And it's a twofer because you can also pull it up and wear it on your head. Now, Unique, Unique Yarns Fingering is another self-striper, but it's a very short run in the stripes. So the stripe is gonna change pretty often. You see here on the swatch, there's only two rows of each color. And at max, it's four. So you're alternating between wider and smaller stripes, wider and narrower stripes, but none of the stripes are terribly long. So you're going to combine that with a solid, and that's how you're creating that, you know, butterfly wing effect. So the first combination is 303, 3003, and citrus. That's very punchy, and that's what the sample was showing me. thought that was very fun. Thirty twelve and black grape will give you pops of blue on this kind of deep red color. And for the blue lovers, we have thirty sixteen and indigo, and you'll have pops of yellow coming off of your blue. And I love orange and gray together. It just gives everything life. So it's 30, 20, and knit. How am I doing so far? Is, the, is my pace good? Or do you like me to go a little bit slower or a little bit faster? Thank you. All right. All righty then. Next up is the Edith wrap. Now, I love color work, but sometimes you're just not in the headspace for it. So I was thinking, how can you get some color work in without too much drama? Mosaic knitting. It's a nice little color work technique that is quick and easy. So the kit's going to contain six balls each of Rowan cotton cashmere. It's an 85% cotton, 15% cashmere. You can machine wash it, but you got to dry it flat. Now, I think cotton cashmere is ideal for transitional seasons. So going from summer from fall into winter, from winter into spring, you're gonna get warmth from the cashmere, but it won't be as heavy. And together, the cotton and the cashmere is gonna feel soft and cloud-like. Now, uh, this kit is priced at 85. And the wrap is just gorgeous. It's not one of the ginormous oversized wraps. 
So if you don't like the big, big blanket style of wrap, but you just want a little something around you, this is a good way to go. It's not super wide and it's about a wingspan long. I'm offering it in three color combinations. And you can see little swatches of each one knit up. So I call this one the neutrals. So you've got like a deep smoky gray, a light gray, and a pink to pop off of that. Then we have the sand colors, earthy, but still kind of soft. And then for the color lovers, you just get a pop. And I have to, I put these cards in there to remind me to tell you the discount code. <laughs> it's NJWW20. The code will be good until the end of the wool walk. And it's 20% off select items, including all of the items I'm showing here today. Oh, and I did want to let you know that I'm also offering virtual shopping. So if you want some help picking out your kit or you're wondering about sizes, make an appointment for virtual shopping and I can shop the sale with you at home and, you know, work out any sizing issues or color choice issues. Now this one is the Boberg wrap. Now it is exactly the opposite of the Edith wrap. It is a large rectangular wrap that features two color brioche and slip stitching against a gar background of garter stitch. So this is pay attention knitting. It takes four skeins of unique worsted and four skeins of monochrome worsted. So each of these is an extra fine merino yarn and they are about 220 yards to a skin. Now, one of the things I like with Unique Yarns, they play with color in such a way that you don't have to do a lot. The yarn is doing part of the work for you. And this kit is at 207. But look at that. And you know what? Her blue hair is working too. <laughs> nope, there is no minimum for the coat to work online. You're just fine. Let me see if I can bring that now. That's as close as I could get it, but I wanted you to see how the stitching works on here. So you have that background of garter stitch. There is a little bit of brioche, but it's not the entire thing. There are chunks of brioche. So it's pay attention and then relax kind of neat. <laughs> so Unique Worsted is another one of Unique Yarns um, short stripers. So the stripes are not these big wide stripes, they're just short pops of color. And monochrome is what they like to call a solid-ish yarn. So it's more variegated than tonal, but it's not all the way <laughs> variegated. So you have the background yarn changing color within one color family. 
and you have your foreground yarn just doing its own dance of color. Uh, put it on 60. Okay. So you're gonna get a lot of bang. Uh, this one seems adventurous to me. I'm like, ooh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, so now we go from a large blankety wrap to a smaller uh, triangle. Yeah, it's a triangle. <laughs> triangle shawl. This is a Drakenfell shawl. And just as complicated and in that you have to pay attention to the stitching as the last one was, Rockefellers is much more laid back. It is working garter stitch from tip to edge and you finish off with an eye color bind off. Shazam. It, you work it with two skeins of Earth Yarns Monochrome and one skein of Unique Yarn Fingering. And you see, because the yarns themselves are doing so much of the work in terms of mixing color, although you use the same yarn for this shawl as the other, you're getting a totally different look. Let me see if I got the close up. And <laughs> you're getting beautiful texture as well as color. Yeah. Rock and Furls is a $90 okay. kit. And it's 100% extra fine merino, 435 yards to 100 yards. <laughs> so you see what I was talking about monochrome? They call it monochrome because it's changing tone within one color family. And unique, it's just doing those snappy, snappy, quick stripes. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, ladies. Had some customers. I love how these two shades of brown are going to just let this bright poppy stripe shine off. Love the paint and grades. You know what? I put together the kit, so I like all the color combinations. I just have to admit it, I do. I put together any color combinations I didn't like. Oh, and I did forget to tell you guys, you are also eligible for the drawings that will be happening. There are several prize baskets offered there actually on the Woolwalk website. Uh, how you can enter is just subscribing to my mailing list and I will forward your name to be entered into the drawings. Okay, so our next shawl is Divanyolu. I was curious about the name. It's actually the name of an ancient city in Turkey. The kit includes three skeins of harvest fingering. Harvest fingering is a 100% extra fine merino. It's 435 yards to 100 yards. Now, this is the most solid-ish yarn that Earth Yarns does, the kit's price at $92. Look at that. Now, this is a large shawl, but it's not anything difficult to make. I just wanted to get you a close-up of the, of the, uh, the texture. Yeah, these colors are soft and lovely. Yeah. 
and it's genuinely a solid, but it's not, the colors are not like hard. So there's a little bit of variation in it, but it's, it reads as a solid. So this is black grape, black grape, fig, and elastic. Black grape again, mint, and pomegranate. I love that poppy yellow. Rubia, buckthorn, and grape leaf. Fig, indigo, and cosmic purple. Walnut, cherry, and pistachio. These, they make me think of like sorbet. <laughs> Blueberry, cherry, and mint. Indigo, cranberry, and hazelnut. Okay, and I think that is the end of our features for the day. Like I said, we have a lot more on the website. The discount code. Which combo was the pattern done in? Let me see. I'm going to pop out of my, I think it was done in the first combo I showed you, but I was just going to ask if anybody wants me to go back to anything because I kind of zipped through those. <laughs> Once again, the discount code is NJWW20 and you will get 20% off select items. Shipping is free. And my website is www.anitsheet.com. Cool. Okay, let me go back. I'm going to stop the share for a minute. Hey, everybody, I'm back. And I'm going to take a look at that first that kit. Oh, there it is. Yes. It took me a moment to figure out which color combination it was, but it is ah, walnut, cherry, and pistachio. That's the color that Divanola was done in. So. Like I was saying, we can do virtual appointments if you have questions about sizing, um, color choice. Do let us know how you sign up for a virtual appointment is you can either go to my website, www.anitsheet.com. Oh, absolutely. Unique side kits, they are the bomb. Hang on one minute. I have a sample of the unique sock kit. So, when you get a unique sock kit, you get a box like this with two balls of yarn in it. And the balls are set up so that you just start knitting and the socks are going to come out too the same and the neat thing about how they do it is that you see how the colors just fade gently one into the next that's how they all do and i also like that at the same time 
what I'm thinking of as the foreground color is changing, the background color is changing too. So you get a whole lot of bang for the buck in this sock. I'm all excited now because I'm actually working a pair of unique socks for myself. And one of the things you can do that's really fun is, although all sorts of things are happening, you can just knit a plain vanilla sock. Yes, the discount applies for the unique socks. You can play, knit a plain vanilla sock in it and you still have a fun, exciting sock. But if you do any kind of pattern stitching, I did, um, this sock is called the Geek Sock. And all I did was a three row pattern in it that I did a couple of slip stitches. And I took that same unique sock kit and just turned it into something with a lot of pizzazz. Look at that. Yeah, it's the Geek Sock. Matter of fact, if you go on my website, you go on the blog, you'll see I wrote, I did a, a whole little piece about it on the blog. Because it's a really fun little pattern, super easy to do. And it's a free pattern. Yeah, and you know what? It was, by the time you do, it's a three row repeat. By the time you do it, like three or four rows, you have it memorized and you're good to go. And I believe this sample sock they have is actually, you wouldn't believe it, but this is the same, this is the same yarn. So you can make it look, right, I mean, you can make it look completely different just by switching up the pattern a little bit. And on my sock, I decided to go with a solid toe and heel. So I just got some run out of my stash and did a solid toe. And I'm gonna do an afterthought heel and do a solid heel. Would anybody like me to go back to any of the the kits to give me a second look at them? Okay, you know what? Since I have a few extra minutes, anybody want to do a store tour? I thought I'd walk around. I'm going to try to hold it steady so that, you know, I don't make anybody sick. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some tour requests in the chat. Okay, so I'm going to warn you right now. My table that I'm working on is kind of messy. So just expect that. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I have to turn the camera this way. And I'm going to try not to point you at the ceiling. So here's my table. So this is my actual setup that I'm filming from. Oh, is my hand in the way? How do I get my hand out of the way? Oh, there it is. <laughs> As you can see, I'm an expert with this. It totally is, and I don't know how to move it. I had a young artist in the neighborhood do a glass painting on the window. It says Carpe Filum. Everybody laughs when they come in and see this. This is my wall of llamas. Because you can't have drama when there's llamas, you know? 
this is hand eye wall. So uh, a number of our hand eyes are hanging up there. I just got a brand new one in. This is from a local dyer, Laura Stout. She runs a company called Three Bunny Designs. So I'm going to take you through. Now, I can't see what you guys are seeing. So sorry, I'm just going to do this pretty quickly. So some of these yarns are in the online store, but if you'd like to shop the store virtually, give me a call. We can do a virtual appointment. Oh, I just discovered this. I don't know. Can you see the TV? Yes. I just discovered this fish channel on YouTube, and I have just been digging it. It is so soothing. I think it's called Yellowstone Productions. And this is our fireplace. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not very big, but we are a happy little yarn spot. Oh, this is Bookland over here. Okay, so let me see if I can. I won't be able to get it back in the stand without going through a lot of machinations. <laughs> but. I do want to thank you all for coming out today and spending some virtual time in the store. Like I said, you can shop the website. If you'd like to shop the store, I will be happy to set up a virtual appointment or a private shopping appointment with you. Well, I am normally, I'm going to be open a little bit more during World Walk Week, so I'm going to close on Monday, but... I will be open the rest of the week from 12 to 6. Oh, I, you like the lighting thing? Yeah, it, it, was, it was really convenient. I liked it. But like I said, thank you, everybody, for coming. This has been awesome. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of, oh, I'm sorry. I will move my thumb out of the frame. Thank you. I hope everybody has a good rest of the day and enjoy some of the other wool walk shows that people are doing. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, was <a> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> that was unexpected.